Hey folks, I'm Jesse from Penalty Box Wood Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to fill knot holes and voids with epoxy. Now with a few tips, this is a quick and easy process that brings otherwise useless boards like this back to life. So stay tuned. So the first thing that we're going to do is inspect our knot hole to see if it goes through the other side of the board, which on this one it's pretty obvious that it does. Some of them might not be that obvious, so we're going to go ahead and take some painter's tape and seal off the other side of the hole. All right, that should do it. This is total boat epoxy. It is a two to one ratio epoxy, but these pumps make it so that it is just equal pumps for epoxy resin to hardener. So the same number of pumps for the epoxy resin is the same number of pumps that you do for the hardener. All right, you can choose to leave the epoxy clear or to give it some tint. I'm gonna give it some tint and I like this hazelnut pigment from Black Diamond. Now this truly is a little bit goes a long way here. Put that in there and then mix it up. And you want to really mix this up for a few minutes. You can see how just a little bit of that pigment really puts a lot of color to that epoxy. Now, I always like to overfill because we're going to get that off the top of it later and you make sure that it, when it settles it doesn't settle below the surface. There we go, that should do it. Now if you look closely, you can see little air bubbles that will rise to the top and they'll pop. But I'm gonna use a heat gun here in just a few seconds and pop all the ones that don't. So something to watch out for when you're popping bubbles with epoxy is you don't have to get really close. Um, that could actually ruin the epoxy. It doesn't take a whole lot. You can be up here and it'll get all those little surface bubbles off as you need. All right, so we've let our piece dry for a couple of hours and the epoxy is completely set up. Now, it depends on what type of epoxy you're using to how long it's gonna take to set up. I used a slow hardener uh, with the Total Boat 2 to 1. It usually takes about two to three hours to cure. Now we just need to get this excess epoxy off the top of our board. Now, if your board is already built to final width, then you're gonna wanna use a card scraper or a sander with a low grit and then run through your grits just like you would any normal wood in order to get that epoxy off. Now, if you have the forethought to fill the epoxy before you take your boards down to final width, then you can use a drum sander or your planer to take this epoxy off. Let's take the tape off the back and see how that held up. So as you can see, the tape did really well and held the epoxy in. It's a little uneven from where the epoxy settled, but I'm just gonna take the card scraper, I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit and then run it through the planer. All right, after just a few passes through the planer and some sanding to 220, you can see that our knot hole is completely filled and the pigment that we chose blended in nicely with the knot. So some great figure on this board and it is now completely usable again. We flip the board over to the other side, rub some mineral spirits on it as well and you can see where the knot hole where it came through is completely filled, it's blended in and that looks really nice as well. All right folks, that does it for us today and as you can see, epoxy can be used for something other than river tables. Now, I'll leave a link to all the stuff that I use in this video in the description section below. If you got any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. I'll be sure to get to them. If this video was helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and do me a favor, 
check that video out. It's a good one. We'll see y'all next week.